What's up guys, Darcy and Putin from Darcyzzle Offshore here. We're in Jupiter today, releasing this beautiful snook, but in the video you're about to see, <laughs> we fished at Boynton and we slayed the fish. We caught jacks and snook, and be sure to watch until the end of the video, because we caught a bunch of bluefish, which I know you guys up north love, and uh, we'll see if our boat keeps running after we got swamped the other day. So check it out. Good morning, Darcyzzle Nation. Darcyzzle and Putin here, trying to see if our boat works. This is kind of a more of a test ride. What do you think, Darcyzzle? I don't know. Trolling motor's not working. Trolling so okay. motor's still working like crap. Darcyzzle's on the on the bait watch. We got mullet all over here. So uh, we're just testing out some of the systems on the boat. When your boat goes on the water, like ours did, if you didn't see that video, oh, check it out. It came out a little late today because the tide is uh, outgoing at, uh, at about nine. So we don't want to waste our time, and it's a full moon too. So we're here in beautiful Boynton Beach today. I'm gonna catch him up. Take the hat off. I'm very busy. Putin's very busy today. A couple of bullets for this wind and a jack. What? There goes my snook. That's okay. That's what happens with treble hooks. He was on the smaller side of a snook, but he just ate that green, orange belly I've been talking about in videos recently. This is the magic color. Let's get it back out and catch another snook. Fish on. We got a fish on, just lost that snook, and one minute later, I'm hooked up again. Check it out, guys. I am sporting all pink today for breast cancer awareness, including my Maxell. A uh, hybrid reel right here, which is pretty sweet in the pink color and pink toenails. We got the pink anchor bracelet. I mean, we got every, I'm sorry, pink fish hook bracelet. We got everything actually, but the lure is not pink today. But we have my 2019 Dar Sizzle calendars available in the store finally. So pick up your calendar today. Pre orders have started and there's a little bit of a discount too if you buy a pre order, pre order calendar. And don't forget the fish hook and anchor bracelets that also can be worn as an anklet. He just ate a Yuzuri 3DB minnow in the blue and white color here, which is a little bit different than the one that Snook just ate. But all the colors work. They're all great. And of course, all this stuff that I like to use for fishing is in my Amazon store. If you buy something in my Amazon store, you support my channel for free. This is pretty cool. There we go. Little Jack. If he was a little bigger, I'd keep him for a stone crab trap. Pretty pretty, but he's going home. Let's get some more fish while his current's ripping. of the day we actually got this guy in the boat and he actually didn't jump I thought it was a jack for a long time he usually snook like to jump right off the bat but that's a beautiful snook a little on the skinny side there you can tell he's got like a big old head and a skinny body but uh, we're gonna release this guy and let him grow big become a slot maybe a 40 incher one day and I'll show you the lure that just caught him again <laughs> nice all right beautiful snook going home should be fine, ready to go. But I guess they're all feeding on the mullet in this area that we're fishing today. There's just a ton of mullet in the area. And uh, I just think these guys really love to feed on the outgoing tide, which is why we came out later today because we wanted to fish the outgoing tide. And so far, it's proving true. I also need to check the moon phases. Woo, there he goes. A lot of, lately these snook have been shaking. Lately, these snook have been just shaking right out of my hand when they're ready to go. That's pretty cool. The last couple do like jumps and flips right by the boat before I let them go. But um, this this is the lure. Hang on. Both snook bites today so far have come on this lure. 
the Azuri 3DB minnow, green top, orange belly. It dives about four to six feet deep. Um, and we just, we, we're basically trolling and steady pulling it through the water and these fish are tearing it up. So I highly recommend buying this lure. Great for bass as well. Amazon store. Mullet like to stay on top. I just have them hooked through the upper lip right there. That is a finger mullet. Same size as your finger. That's why we like to call them finger mullet. But it's also a great size bait for all sorts of fish all different sizes and you want to use bigger mullet for bigger size fish but I'm just gonna pitch them right up against that wall closer to the wall the better ooh did you see you just jumped there's something chasing them come on you cast them again so you want your mullet to stay right up against that wall always put your live bait under shadows too you see that tree hanging down that's a good area that predator fish would like to hang out in the shadows just waiting this is a four aught mustad circle hook you can see I'm just rigging it up right through the lip there so you can still breathe. That's a little bit of a bigger sized mullet, a little bigger than a finger mullet. Come on, eat him up. He just swims right out of there. Lead into him. You guys see that? That's um pudding fishes. That was bass guy style. That's the biggest one of the day. Nice bruiser. Score the stones. Nice little tarpon size, our sizzle. Nice. Yes. We got a fish. Oh no, I meant this one. <laughs> that one's trolling on the surface. It's gonna cut, cut me off. No wake zone. You guys know that's my favorite to time to troll. We are in a very long no wake zone. Oh, it's a blue fish. Wow. I'm surprised he did not cut me off. I got lucky on that. Okay, so the blue fish moved down too with the mullet. But as I was saying before, that these, these blue fish, they actually migrate with the mullet along the coast. That's a nice one. Very nice blue fish. And as you know, my finger is doing much better. I'm just gonna be extra careful with these hooks, especially with the crazy blue fish. So Brian, AKA Puddin, said that this would be considered a cocktail blue fish. A little bit smaller than that would be considered a snapper. So that's a, that's a nice one for sure, especially in the intercoastal. And it was pretty cool watching him just puke up all of those baits he had just fed on. But yeah, pretty cool to catch them this time of the year. We also catch them in the winter time, but they move down, like I said, with the mullet feeding on them. So pretty cool. Mullet run fish for sure. Check out that yellow mouth actually. It's pretty wild looking. And very, very sharp teeth. But I think he's gonna come to crouch at bait. <laughs> He's not getting released today. Going for his last swim right here. All right, we gotta finish out this no wake zone. Let's see if we can catch another fish. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Yes, it's very small. What? Oh my God, oh my God. Don't run me over, dude. All right, guys, we got a snapper blue. That is a snapper blue. Whoa, dude, watch your freaking hands. <laughs> watch out, that, that lure is flying. You're gonna get hooked. What, Brian? And he's off, and he's off, and he's off. Okay, little snapper blue. And actually these like peck fins look were like really light blue. It's pretty cool, like very similar to a redfish. Let's get the release. He's gone. It'll say something good. What? Say something to the camera for a test. Testing. One, two, three, testing. Talking about the engine. Loud. I can see the engine, dumbass. 